children. So, so good to be doing this again for you. And uh, we ask forgiveness because we stopped several weeks ago. And uh, so we, we need to pick it up again. So we're going to ask you to uh, participate and pay attention and learn uh, because these stories are true and they're in our Bibles. So today's story is going to be about David. So before we um, learn the story, let's pray. Uh, bow your heads and hold your uh, hands like we do. Father in heaven, thank you for this day and thank you for the children. Thank you for your love. We pray for uh, everybody, Father. We pray for the whole world. And uh, we want to follow you. Thank you for our Bibles. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the first board we're going to look at. And it's dark, as you see, because I wanted it to show the night. David was the son of Jesse. His father's name was Jesse. And he was from Bethlehem. And David had seven brothers. David was the youngest. And he took care of his father's sheep. That's why we have all of these sweet little sheep on the board. David also played the harp. That's why we have his harp right here. And he wrote music. He wrote songs and poetry. He was very, very uh, talented. And this right here is his pouch where he could uh, throw stones or protect the sheep. He could, one time a, a lion came after his sheep and one time a, a grizzly bear came after his sheep and he protected the sheep and uh, with his, uh, it was like a slingshot really. It was a, uh, and then the stones were in his pouch. But I'm showing this at night so you could see that even at night David would stay outdoors and watch over the sheep because that was part of the family business for taking care of the sheep. Our story is going to go on. David was in the area where his brothers, he had three brothers that were in the army. Here are tents of the armies. And the Israelites were camped on one side of this valley. The valley is known the Valley of Elah. But the Israelites were camped on one side and um, the Philistines were camped on the other side. And for 40 days and 40 nights, a giant came out. His name was Goliath. And he was nine feet tall. And he had a brass helmet and brass armor. He even had a shield bearer with him, another man that uh, went alongside him. But he shouted uh, for 40 days and 40 nights uh, to the um, Israelites who were camped over here in this part of the valley. And everyone was uh, wondering what was going to happen. And finally, Goliath said, You, Israelites, send out one person. And if I beat him, then you all will be our servants. And if he beats us in a battle, then we will be your servants. 
So, David was so brave. He went to King Saul and asked King Saul if he could fight Goliath. So here we're going to see King David, and I'm going to even show the little sheep with him because I just want to. That's not really in our Bibles, but I'm going to. I am going to show his uh, slingshot pouch where, because what David did is once he got the okay, from King Saul to fight Goliath, he went out to the battle. And first of all, his oldest brother was sort of uh, mocking him, didn't think that he should be out there. Um, I'm sure a lot of people wondered why someone so young, and David did not even have any armor on him. Do you see? He just came like this. In fact, the king had offered David his uh, shield and his sword and his armor, and David said he had not tested it. And that's a good lesson for us right there. You know, before we use something, we should test something first before we do it in public or before we uh, make a big deal out of something. And he, he knew that that armor of the kings just did not fit him. Uh, it was probably too large, I think, uh, no, no doubt. Anyway, so David is there, and Goliath is just, oh, he couldn't believe that the Israelites would send out the young David to fight him. And he was really angry about that, you know, and proud. He was arrogant. And it's just a very character flaw there. And uh, David says uh, that he was coming out in the name of the Lord, the King the, of Israel, the one true God. And Goliath talked about all of his gods because, see, he had several gods. Several gods. And we know that there's only one God. There's only one God. And David knew the one true God. So, what happened was David reached down somewhere in this valley of Elah and picked up five smooth stones and put them in his pouch. And he put one in his slingshot and he went like this. And he went round and round and he swung that slingshot toward Goliath. And it hit the stone, hit Goliath right in the middle of the forehead, right here. And do you know what happened? Goliath just fell over like this, just fell over, dead. And so then the Bible tells us that David went and got Goliath own sword and cut off Goliath's head and took his head to Jerusalem. And so everybody was so happy because there wasn't a big battle. Just the two men fought. And David was loved by a lots and lots and lots of people. And this story is in 1 Samuel chapter 17. So you can go to this uh, 
chapter in your Bibles and your parents' Bibles and ask them to read you the story um, when they there's so many things to learn about this story so much one thing I want to tell you boys and girls is that David lived a long 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 time ago <laughs> and in fact he is a great 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 I can't even count all the greats but he is a great 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 grandfather of Jesus that something. So, if you all would like to learn more about David, there's more wonderful stories about David. He also wrote a lot of, as we said earlier, um, of poetry and songs, and those are in a book called The Book of Psalms. You can go to those too. They're beautiful, beautiful. So, I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you remember it. Think about it. And think about how brave David was. And think about how much he loved God. And how much he loved his people. And how much he loved the animals. And how much he wanted to obey God. He wanted to obey God. And he had confidence and courage because he knew God. So, let's, uh, let's sing a song together. And we'll see you all soon. I know we will. And uh, I don't know what song you all would like to sing, but let's just sing... Uh, Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Okay, you all take care. We're so, so happy to be doing this again for you all. Love you all.